Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Eric Nessler. I'm a professor in neuroscience and director of the Friedman Brain Institute, and also Dean for Academic and Scientific Affairs at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. I'd like to talk to you today, particularly about our basic research enterprise, and specifically the role that our graduate students and postdoctoral fellows have played. COVID-19 has changed the lives of the research enterprise at the medical center. Starting at about four weeks ago, all classroom activities went online so that our graduate students and postdocs have been learning uh, from home. Uh, starting at about the same time, effectively March 20th, we started ramping down our basic wet lab research activities. This occurred, of course, throughout the United States. At Mount Sinai, we've maintained a fewer restrictions. We've allowed laboratories to have skeleton crews to keep animal lines alive, make sure the animals are doing well, to keep important cell lines and stem cell lines going. But by and large, much of our research has, has stopped. And we have worked very hard to ensure that our graduate students and postdoctoral fellows can remain as productive as possible despite these disruptions. We're encouraging them to analyze their data, go online and look for new innovative ways to analyze existing data sets, to write papers, write review papers, write grants, um, go online and become more proficient in coding, for example. And I am so pleased by the many ways in which our uh, students and postdocs have taken advantage of those activities. Now, while most research activities have ramped down, our COVID-19 related research has ramped up. And I was alluding to that before. Mount Sinai scientists have been leading the way in understanding this virus, how it infects cells, how it replicates within cells, how it stimulates the immune system, which seems to be the culprit in producing a great many of the clinical uh, problems that we face in patients who are infected, understanding why it is that some individuals are more prone to the virus and others are quite resilient related to genetics and many other factors as well. We're interested in why there's been such great disparities in COVID-19 infections and their uh, implications in minority communities. And we're interested in using Mount Sinai's really unprecedentedly large, vast clinical database to understand those clinical features more. And already our scientists and clinicians and, and our graduate students and postdoctoral fellows are of course integral, essential components of these laboratory efforts are already publishing papers giving new insight into the care for COVID patients. The use of anticoagulants, for example, in a subset of patients. How and when to put a person on a ventilator or take them off of a ventilator are all new insights being derived from the work that we're doing. And throughout this period, philanthropy from, from you and others has been an essential ingredient. We would not have been able to play the major role that we have been playing nationally and internationally without support from our generous donors. But at the same time, there's no question that this has been a very trying period of time for our research trainees. And the good news is, just in this past week, we are now beginning to talk about the post-COVID-19 world. We're hoping to ramp research back up around mid-May. We would keep the density of the labs relatively low. We'd have uh, lab members work in shifts, uh, but get back to work. And, um, and begin to ramp up their experiments again with animals and cells and, and other uh, approaches. Uh, and we're hoping that we would be able to get back to business uh, very quickly uh, starting uh, during this period of time. We call on all of our alumni to consider a donation to Mount Sinai to help us support our basic research enterprise and more importantly, our young graduate students and postdoctoral fellows who make this research possible. Although our trainees are concerned about what this means for their careers, I'm actually quite confident that they'll do just fine. 
that with the support that we provided at Mount Sinai, keeping them engaged with work in progress meetings, seminars, retreats, uh, and so on, that they are very much engaged in the research workforce. And now just a few weeks uh, uh, from today, they'll be able to come back to lab and pick up with their work. We thank you very much for your continued support of Mount Sinai, and we're always available to hear from you and about your thoughts about how we're doing. Thank you.